This is a quick look at how to use Book Creator. You'll notice that the uh, opening page is a get Getting Started tutorial. You might like to have a look at that. Uh, we're going to choose Landscape for our book. Then we're going to go up to the uh, Information symbol and we're going to choose a paper colour. This is a good way just to highlight your pictures and add a bit of character to your book. Then we're going to hit the plus sign, go to Photos and select a photo that we've already imported into our iPad. This is the drawing that we did a little bit earlier. Now we're going to quickly adjust that. Again, the green around the outside just gives it a bit of a bit of effect. Once that's completed, our next step is to go and actually put some text in. So this is obviously going to be the text that you've already written uh, in your story. It's best to keep your text nice and simple. And now we've finished that and it just pops it onto the page. From there we can go to the information uh, symbol and we can make the text bigger. We could also change the colour of the text. And we can go in and change the style of the font. Once that's completed we can open the box up and then locate it in the position that we require. Our next step is possibly to go and record our voice over the top of the book so the book will auto-read as we go through. Once we've finished with our page we can go on to another page. So let's assume that we've finished our book and now we're going to share it. So we hit the sharing icon in the top right hand corner and we could share it to iBooks or to our WebDAV server. The next thing we might like to do is go to back to the home page and put the details in about our book. That's just so that uh, you know which book is yours, just in case there might be lots of different projects in the app on that particular iPad. Well, that's a quick look at um, Book Creator. I hope you enjoyed that and have lots of fun using the app.